76% of engineering employers agree that compelling all engineering and technology companies to provide work experience would improve the pool of engineering talent. So how does one of the most progressive travel and transport companies in the world stay ahead of the game? By doing just that, our reporter took a ride into the future. Since opening for business in 1994, Eurostar has transported over 150 million people from the UK into mainland Europe. Its fleet of 27 high-speed trains are maintained by a dedicated team of engineers, some of whom began their careers as company trainees. Eurostar's apprenticeship scheme started in 1998, and every year it offers four to six places to students aged between 14 and 19. 19-year-old Jack Wales and 17-year-old Victoria Mile are among the latest recruits. Working alongside experienced engineers at Eurostar's East London Depot, they're learning about train maintenance while studying for engineering qualifications. I've been an apprentice for three years now, and uh, in my time I've learned a lot of people skills as well as theory skills in regards to your physics and your maths and practical skills that I've learned on the job. I think you've, you learn skills in all different sectors of life and I think uh, being an apprentice is a really good way to get into the industry, to get into work and understand quicker and sooner what it means to be an employee. With the government's new apprenticeship levy due to kick in next year, Eurostar is likely to increase its pool of trainees, ensuring that it does its bit to help tackle the national shortage of engineers identified in the 2016 IET skills survey, especially amongst women. I started off at school and it was either out of languages or engineering, and I didn't like languages, so I chose engineering. And when I did it, it was like, obviously I was a class full of boys, so I was a bit scared. And when I got into there, I just got on my work and it was all fine, like I've really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd further my education in it and get an apprenticeship. More than 50 apprentices have completed their training since the Eurostar scheme began and at least 76% of them are still working for the company. However, the challenge is to make sure that apprentices stay on once the training is over. We retain the, the trainees by, uh, first of all, exposing them to a variety of different types of work and we think that uh, makes it rich. Um, we also think there is a, a personal connection uh, that you know, some bonds get created before, between the apprentices and the experienced engineers. Some have moved on to various teams uh, uh, on the shop floor, uh, but you've also got uh, some engineers who've gone back to school, uh, gotten a, a, a full-on engineering degree um, and have joined the, uh, the engineering department, for instance. Uh, some have effectively taken on a, a full leadership role uh, for some of the functions on the train, which is really a big, you know, a big achievement and, and we encourage them to go there. The Eurostar apprenticeship has gone from strength to strength, attracting more young people keen to build careers in engineering. And that's important as the company looks to expand its route network in the future. And that work is already underway. Plans for a London to Amsterdam route are gathering momentum, with a new state-of-the-art train, the E320, given a test run on the Dutch rail network earlier this year. 17 E320s have been added to Eurostar's fleet, with nine of them already in service. With such high-tech kit on the scene, the need for a new generation of engineers has never been greater. I think it's great to be able to have uh, new people coming into the business, uh, young people, because they also uh, come with what they've learned and they can challenge the way we work sometimes and they uh, bring fresh blood. Uh, so in general, it's, it's good. You know, we've got people, uh, I mean, the youngest ones, you've met them. They are teenagers, they are oldest engineer. Uh, he's one of our most innovative, he's 80. So you see, we, we've got the whole range and it's the mix of people that brings the innovation. Recruitment for places on next year's apprenticeship scheme begins in early 2017. For a company like Eurostar, which enjoys a reputation for nurturing promising young talent, there should be no problem finding the engineers who will take it into the future.